LSU tees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. They'll bring him down at the 37. He got the ball and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big time speed. It's first and 10, ball on the 37. He's taken down at the 32. When this guy gets his arms around a ball carrier, I don't care who it is, he's not getting away. Scrambling around. Brought down right around the 42-yard line. Third and five coming up. Ball on their own 42. And they make the stop around the 43-yard line. There you go. Good read by the quarterback to give the offense a new set of downs. If the defense wants to line up and man, work that slant route until they stop it. And he's taken down at the 24-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Throws it to the outside. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Well, that is great coverage by this defense. They did everything that they could to force that wide receiver into a very small window close to the boundary. The quarterback makes the throw to give his receiver a chance to make a play. The problem is there's no room left for the receiver to get his foot down for the catch. Deep ball, laying it out there. Keep going after the end zone. They can't count on the safety making that play every time. We've got third and 10. Ball on the 24. What a relief it is for a quarterback to know that he's got a receiver like this who can step up when he needs him on third down. This is the 10th play of this drive. And he hits him hard at the nine yard line. Gain of two on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven. Ball on the nine yard line. Motion, motion, motion. motion. Oh, Tackle at about the 11. It's a great play by the defense, but you know, it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Big hit, he stopped in his tracks. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. Fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Louisville could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and they tack on three points. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. LSU's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line. And, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact that you throw them. 
it's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He airs it out. Complete with a 20. Touchdown, LSU! And he hits the PAT. So a short three-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. So our score, 7-3. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He tackles him for a loss. Too easy, too easy. That'll bring up second and 12. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 23. There's a strike complete. He's down. He lets it fly. Doesn't get there. They looked a little sluggish on that series. I'm curious to see if they pick things up when they get the ball back. That brings us fourth and seven. And they're coming after this punter. Oh, excellent punt. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Slings it out there incomplete. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw. LSU is up by four. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Tackle made at the 39. That screen gets around six. They executed the screen play well here by getting the ball to the halfback. They pick up some yards. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. Choose the money. Easy, easy, easy. Stingray. He makes the catch and has a first down. He's tackled at the 44-yard line. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. Four down, four down. Mike two, Mike two. Ready. Black and down he goes at about the 31. That makes it first and ten. And he's tackled at the 33-yard line. The defense just met the blockers head-on and drove them back straight into the runners. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 33. Handoff to the right. Nice run there as they work the outside. That'll bring up third and eight.
This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 7-3, Tigers. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first tight ball game, folks. LSU holds a four-point lead. And he's knocked down immediately after the catch. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 14. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. After review the play, the ruling on the field stands. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. Watch, watch number 86. Watch 86. And he is drilled at the five. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. And he throws it away. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. They stack the line of scrimmage here. Let's see who's got the stronger lineman. He's on the run, heading for the corner. Touchdown, Tigers! What a touchdown. He didn't see anyone open, so he just took it in himself. This quarterback is fearless, and the defense needs to either spy him or walk the safeties up when they've got the ball down near the goal line. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. That'll be a loss of one. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Second down and 11. Ball on the 24. Fires incomplete, knocked away. That makes it third and 11. Hey, we gotta get to the ball. Z, Damn. We gotta get to the ball. He's out of bounds at the 30. That'll bring up fourth and five. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Nice yardage on the run back. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Makes it out to about the 46. From their own 46-yard line, first down. Runs right for a nice game. That makes it second and six. Key at 33, key at 33. Watch the run. They're running it. 
He's at the 40. Gets out to around the 38. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. From the 38-yard line, it's first down. Gets out to around the 22. That's good for a game of 16 yards. First down. Makes it out to about the 13. Call the game of nine yards. That brings up second and nine. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. He's into the open field. Big play, and it's first and goal. And this play is number eight on the drive. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the three. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. No gain on the play. That makes it third and goal. Tenth play of the drive. Rose complete touchdown. And so he found his receiver for the score. And the closer you get to the end zone, the more difficult it becomes to throw the football because the field becomes much smaller to work with. But they did a very nice job there to come up with the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. LSU is lining up to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Caught with room to work. They'll bring him down around the 35-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. tight end and they make the stop right around the 46 yard line how about the big fellas up front this line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective from the 46 yard line first down He's taken down right around the 38-yard line. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. If you kill it, and he might want it all here and does. Touchdown, Cardinals. What a display of 
pure speed. You know, any time this guy touches the ball, he has the ability to go the entire length of the field with that speed. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Tigers are sitting pretty now after getting off of that slow start at the beginning. Yeah, things were a little sluggish early, but my gosh, these last few series, they just seem to be, at this point, just kind of setting a tone and kind of having their way against this defense. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Tackle at the 33. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Taken down at the 38-yard line. The Tigers are going to call their second timeout. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 38. Mike two. Let's go. He chucks it downfield. Finds the junior. Here's an opening. And he adds the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the money. That makes, that makes it second, second and ten. ten. from their own 25-yard line. It's second down. Well, we've played a half of football. LSU's up by 18. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Take a look at both quarterbacks in this game, and neither one of them even has their pants dirty. Nobody's been on the ground here. No pressure generated by the defense, but one of the reasons is because quarterbacks have been able to get rid of the football. Maybe maybe a little help in the secondary to those guys trying to rush the pass. The guys up front always get the blame, but it really is a business that works hand in hand because I, you can get a lot of sacks off garbage sacks where it's great coverage down the field, but the quarterback has to hold it for four or five seconds, but it works the other way around too. If somebody's open every time he pats that football and reaches the top of his drop, I can't get there in time. So the, the coverage needs to tighten up a little bit, mess up the rhythm, jam the receivers maybe a little bit more. Give me a little bit of time so those big boys up front can get to the quarterback. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this is one of those days when everything is clicking for an offense. These guys have been executing, and that's the reason they have such a nice lead.
So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Let's go, defense. Let's get out the field, defense. There he goes. Brought down around the 38-yard line. That's a game of 13 on the play. First down. From their own 38-yard line. First down. Mike two, Mike two, set. Flag 98, hot, hot, flag 98. Gets to about the 41 yard line. That's good for the three yards. That'll make it second to seven. Four down, four down. Mike two, watch two, watch two. Ready, red 68. Nice run up the middle. That's good for the three yards. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Gets to about the 47-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. Fourth down. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. This is why it's so important to have success in running the football. It forces a defense to prepare for it, and then that creates chances on play action. They executed that one perfectly. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. Passes to the right, it's picked off. And they'll return this one all the way. Touchdown, huge play. So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. And he hits the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Louisville's having a hard time doing anything on offense right now. Well, they've had some opportunities, but they either turn the ball over or obviously don't execute on third down and they're forced to punt. Uh, or their drive uh, ends up uh, stalling in a fourth down. But they're moving the ball at times. I think they've just got to take some chances at this point late in the game like this. Throw the ball downfield and hope that your receivers can make some play. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle made at about the 33-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And he throws it away. Makes it out to about the 43. First and 10. Ball on their own 43. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Blue 78. Incomplete. 
incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. They'll line it up again on third down. And they push him out at about the 43-yard line. No game on the play. That'll make it fourth and 10. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. LSU comes to the line in complete control in this game. Nice run, and he's brought down. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Good outside run there. Man, it's always a plus if you're able to pick up the first down with the running game. That makes it first and ten. Four down, four down. Choose the mic. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's good for the game, seven yards. That'll bring up second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Mike two, Mike two. Nice run there. Pretty good gain on the play by the halfback. He got seven, but it looked like for a second he could have broken it for even more. Good call. Here I come. 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 And now he's got room to run. And he's tackled right around the 44-yard line. From the 44-yard line, first down. Here we go. He's tackled at the 36. That brings up second and one. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. Hey, that's a heads up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. It's third down and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. LSU up by a bunch. Runs outside for a nice game. Call it a gain of five yards. We're at play number nine of this current drive. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a gain of five on the play. That brings him second and five. From the 26-yard line, second down. Choose the mic. Ready! Black 55! Black. Easy, easy, easy! They go with him again, and he'll be taken down behind the line. That's three down and one to go. The Tigers are up big. Well, folks, we resume action here in the fourth quarter. We'll hope for some action, because so far it's been a lopsided one. They come out in an empty backfield. Well, that's a nice stop right there here early in the fourth quarter, but they've made those kind of plays all day, and that's why we've got a blowout on our hand. They're going to try a long field goal here. Kick is away, it's long enough, and he splits the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
early in the fourth quarter here, and obviously we've got a game that's a blowout. In this situation, you just want to get out of this game without getting anybody hurt. And down he goes at about the 35. From their own 35-yard line. First down. He's on the run, runs with it, and he's got room. Decides to slide. Got the corner. But I love the toughness here by this quarterback sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Good, solid defense there to force him into a fourth down situation. Booming kick. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. LSU in control. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They'll bring him down right around the 36-yard line. That's a gain of eight on the play. First down. Four down, four down. Mike two, Mike two. Let's go. Red 68. Here's a handoff, left side. And they make the stop at the 36-yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. Second and ten. Ball on the 36. Let's go. Red 85. Red hot. He makes his way to about the 48. That makes it first and ten. He's taken down at the 41. That's a game of 11 on the play. First, First and 10. Ball on the 41 yard line. Mike 2, Mike 2. Here we go. Green 95. Green 95. It's the tailback. He's at the 30. He's knocked out of bounds at the 29 yard line. That's good for a game of 12 yards. Man left, man left. First down. We have less than a minute to go. Tackle after decent pickup. That makes it second and six. From the 24-yard line, it's second down. Let's go! Green 95! Green! Run, 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 run! Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's the end of the ball game, and our final score in this one, 38-10, Tiger. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.